So we're a few weeks into the 2022 Australian federal election campaign and I hate to say it, but the way that most major media outlets have been covering the campaign so far is pretty disappointing. Was it a newsworthy moment that Anthony Albanese forgot the cash rate and the unemployment rate? Yes. Did we need wall-to-wall coverage of this moment by every single media outlet dragged out over a period of three days? No. Did we need other journalists trying to replicate the gotcha moment with other politicians on the campaign trail? No, I don't think so. During an election campaign, I think the goal of media should be to help people like you get the information that you need to make up your mind and cast an informed vote, whatever that vote may be. Now, there are lots of big news sites that you can go to to find constant news updates and daily live blogs and just a continuous stream of election news if that's what you're after. But personally, I think that volume is just too much and it's not even really helpful. So why am I bringing this up? At ZFeed, we have just launched the streamlined alternative to all of that messy, confusing coverage. It's our 2022 election hub. We wanted to cover the election in a way that was more straightforward, less stressful, and honestly, just better for your brain. So we've kept everything in the hub really simple. The election hub will only ever include three types of content. First, we've got side-by-side comparison of the policy promises made by the Labor, Liberal and Greens parties. There's one article for each of the main policy areas, including the economy, climate, health, education, and more. With these summaries, it's really up to you to make up your own mind about which policies are good or bad. We're just putting them all in one place to make it easier for you to find and decide. The second type of content you'll find in the hub are explainers and analysis of important election concepts. Live in the hub now, you'll find an article outlining how TikTok is impacting the youth vote in 2022 a rundown of the 13 seats that experts say could decide the outcome of this election, and a piece that explains what types of policy can actually impact the cost of living. And lastly, the Election Hub includes links to articles and videos by other publishers that we think are actually informative. There's no point in us rewriting an article that someone else has already done really well, so we've just saved everybody time by linking to it directly. The Hub is live now and we're updating the policy summaries every day. So if you are looking for a stress-free and reliable way to keep informed about what's going on with the 2022 election, but without all of the spin, all of the jabs, all of the back and forth of campaign trails and press conferences, I think you will really like what we've created.